YSK your rights as a credit card holder in the US are probably stronger than you think. YYSKI see post after post about people complaining that DoorDash didn't deliver their food or Amazon delivered their package damaged or the package got stolen. Almost across the board. If you ordered something online and you did not get what you ordered, you have the right to file a complaint with your bank to dispute the transaction. If you have evidence, you will probably win. As it's not your bank who has to pay to make the situation right and it's also your bank who is favored in these disputes. There's some paperwork to fill out. But it's worth your time for most transactions. Different credit cards banks are also more or less apt to jump to your defense. Amex for one has an incredible reputation for defending their cardholders. To add to this, some credit cards will provide a warranty on items purchased. For example, in college, first semester, I knocked over my new laptop and completely busted it. The laptop had been purchased with a Visa credit card. And so there was a one-year replacement warranty applied to the purchase. Got a new replacement laptop in like a week or two. Something to consider. The laundry room in my building has so many broken machines and some of them don't get labeled as out of service. You can pay with your credit card and every time I have an issue with one of the machines I dispute, it it'll accept the charge but then not dry or wash. I've left a note in the room for others to do the same as well. Hopefully a loss of money will finally get him to fix this shit. Credit cards are actually more convenient than debit cards when it comes to disputes. Tons of credit card benefits out there. I never use my debit card anymore. It goes off of consumer protection laws written under Reg E for merchant disputes. Which can also translate into Reg Z for credit cards since Reg Z is based off of Reg E. It is not if the bank believes you or not. If that were the case. There is incentive not to believe it is based on does it satisfies the law dispute time frames. Reason codes. Representments pre-ARBS. Liability rights. And does it satisfy the card brand rules. Some reason codes. And situations there will be chargeback rights while others there will not of card type. My credit card had fraud charges on it. They sent me a text alerting that they think there is fraud and to call them. I confirmed that I do not know about those charges. As they were made at grocery stores in Ukraine. I am based in the US and my last transaction was in the US. They opened an investigation and they found that they were not fraud charges. I try to dispute it. I was held liable for those fraud charges. Even though I've never been to Ukraine. This is with Capital One. Keep in mind that 99.9 of services will ban you if you issue a chargeback so only do this if you are willing to never do business with that company again. You can also get banned from these services for charging back so pick your battles. I think Sony has a no tolerance for chargebacks. You charge it back. You no longer have access to your thousands of dollars of games in your account. That's an extreme example but still. Doing this too much can get you banned from services though. For example, if you use your bank to cancel an account on PlayStation, they will ban your account. It's probably better to try to work with the company or app first then go through your bank if you are trying to continue to do business with them. Discover commercials you're never liable for fraudulent purchases with Discover. Yeah it's like that everywhere. Lady. Capital One is stellar for this kind of thing. Basically everything Discover card advertises as their value add are just legal obligations of credit card companies.
Do not buy on debit. Buy with credit card and dispute is federally regulated. Debit is not. If you buy something from a small-time online seller artist maker please do not abuse the charge back system and work it out with them first. I only purchase things on my CC. The bank having my back on disputes feels nice. Better yet, don't go through your bank. They have screwed my friends over many times over these disputes and never actually back them up. No. Use your credit card. And if businesses don't give you the items, then tell your credit card company. They will reverse the charges. And the best part is that if that business gets enough chargebacks like this, there will be serious consequences for them. The credit card companies will not want to deal with them anymore and they will lose a ton of business. One of the many reasons people should utilize credit cards for the majority of their spending. The only real reason not to use credit cards is if you are too irresponsible to pay them off. Monthly. Anyone else read this in a Jerry Smith voice? I switched to Chase after getting screwed by my bank over a mistake by a car rental company in Ireland. Not entirely their fault. Every time I've had an issue since then Chase's fraud people have been on it like CSI. With frank advice and reasonable choices. We're shutting the card now. Do you want to get a temporary one locally? Or can you wait five days? That's a brilliant way to get banned from DoorDash and Amazon. What you're doing is essentially accusing the seller of fraud. And the bank is clawing back your money but it's not legally settled in court. The seller can and probably will decline to do business with you again. Also have fun losing access to your previously purchased content and linked services. Absolutely do not do this with your Google Apple account if you want to continue using their email and login services or every app you've ever downloaded. Yay but a chargeback will get you blacklisted from the service. So don't use it on Amazon unless you want to burn your access to the biggest e-commerce platform in the world. And if you have cash back cards as long as you pay your bills on time you get free money. I was able to get refunded when I did not receive something from DoorDash. But if I want to use them again, I have to pay them what I charged back. You know. Give them $19.45 for nothing. Yeah. No. Keep in mind that disputing charges is a good way to get your card blacklisted from services like DoorDash. Keep in mind if you dispute a charge on your credit card. The vendor can ban you from whatever service you used. Lyft is notorious for doing this. Side note doing this is likely to lead to your account being closed with DoorDash or Amazon. So just keep in mind you will, maybe, not get a chance to use that product service again. In a lot of cases, the vendor app will close your account and blacklist you if you file a chargeback. That's worth remembering only contest charges if you are okay with being done with that app. Yup. Order some stuff online. And it was never delivered. Asked the company for a refund and they said no. Okay fine. Talked to the bank and got a chargeback done. Suddenly the company I ordered from wanted to talk about it. Nah fuck that. You brushed me off because you thought you had my money and I wouldn't bother. Large merchants like Amazon will blindly shut down your access to all their services if you charge. Back with them. This includes any digital assets you have purchased. Yeah. And then Uber Eats doesn't accept that and says you owe them. Their thrives pure and simple.